Aloha guys, I'd like to introduce you to Shimano Sienna 4000 RE. Now this unit here does not have the front wheel drag that we normally used to, it has a rear drag system, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. And this one here is considered to be one of the lesser expensive models that incorporates this type of system and is also one of the smoothest around for its price class. So here it is. This is a larger 4,000 unit. And I would say that look wise, it's very appealing, very sleek and uh, trim. And this is what you call a rear drag system. So when this is in motion, instead of going to the front, normally people are used to the front uh, knob drive. This is a rear knob drive. So as you can see, it looks good. It actually feels very, very good on this eight foot uh, spinning rod. So um, this, a lot of freshwater people use this. It's meant more for the freshwater crowd, but I'm here in Hawaii, so I'm gonna give it a try in salt water. So the last time I was up in freshwater, I was up in Maine. So um, when, you, when you're in a wooded area, especially when you got branches and overhangs, you're, in, you're, you're along the shrubs, along the, the lakes and the rivers, um, you, you kind of want to have a rear drag like this. You want to have that instead of the front. is because when you're out there and you're casting your line out um, and you're reeling it in, you're going for trout or crappy or any other type of fish, if you get a hit, um, a lot of times it, it's kind of humble to reach around and, and make your adjustments. If you do that, in that time it takes to do that, the fish could break the line or it could come loose. So when, when you're over here um, palming your rig and you get hit, you can instantly make your change, especially if you're using lighter line. If you're going down to like say four pound and um, you have the drag set fairly tight to set the hook, as soon as you get a hit and you know it's a big fish, you can quickly loosen that up a bit so it won't snap the line. That's one of the advantages to having a rear drag system. The Sienna's are, are famous for their propulsion management system, which is one of the uh, attributes of Shimano reels. So when you cast, uh, it enables you to cast longer, farther, with less chance of getting tangled. Now this is the 4,000 size unit. So uh, the 4,000, 5,000 size units, I would recommend for the seven to eight and a half foot rods this one here is an eight foot rod. Also, if you're gonna uh, go with monofilament, I would recommend going uh, between eight and 14 pound test monofilament. Or if you're using braid, you can go from eight to 25 because of the thinner line diameter. So what's the gear ratio? Gear ratio is 5.1 to one, which means for every one complete turn, um, the spool here will go around 5.1 times. Unless if you have the, uh, what's it, the um, FE. If you have the FE model instead of this model, it is a 5.2 to one, a little bit faster retrieval. So for every one crank, you're gonna bring back in 32 inches of line. Now the max drag, I'm not too sure of because um, I, I look in some sites and these are Shimano sites, they'll say seven pounds. Others will say 12 pounds. This is more of a finesse reel. It's not meant for dragging in big fish, it's more for finessing, which is why a lot of uh, anglers like using lighter line for this type of reel. The bearing count in this is one plus one, um, but they're using uh, the high grade stainless steel of 25. Uh, most other um, bearings will use uh, grades of 22. This is a higher grade of 25. Wait. Only 12.9 ounces. So what kind of braid capacity am I looking at here? Well, for 15 pounds, you're gonna have 280 yards. For 30 pounds, 170 yards. And for 50 pounds, 150 yards. So at 50 pounds, you're not gonna get much line on it. Uh, 15 pounds is gonna be 280, and that's what I'm gonna go with. And the mono capacity, you're gonna get 240 yards for eight pound, 200 yards for 10, 160 yards for 12 pounds. So it's pretty average for a uh, 
4,000 size reel. This is a good budget reel that's fairly priced and dependable, which is the reason why I got it. So as you can see, size wise, this would be good for an eight foot rod. And um, I'm gonna be spin casting the shoreline for jacks and hopefully uh, using some smaller grubs for bonefish. Thank you.